What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video on a game that I have not talked about in a while. For those of you that don't know or maybe don't remember, the name of the game that I'm going to be talking about is called World War III. It was a game that was going to try its best to steal the spotlight from Battlefield. During the time when Battlefield 5 was getting a lot of backlash, that game just like popped up on the radar for a lot of people who wanted a game like Battlefield 4 and not whatever Battlefield 5 tried to be. So people were going in and getting World War 3 as like an alternative to Battlefield 5. It honestly would have been an amazing marketing move by the World War 3 developer team if they didn't botch the launch of their own game. Now, there's a number of reasons as to why the game didn't pan out so well, but to me, the main one was just the fact that you couldn't connect to servers like at all in the beginning stages of the game. And even when you could, there was like nobody in the servers to really battle against because everybody's just freaking waiting. So that's obviously one of the biggest reasons, at least for me. I know that there was a bunch of them like, um, like they didn't listen to their beta testers saying that this was an issue and that there was a bunch of updates that were supposed to come out at specific times but they never actually did come out i heard that a lot of people were having a lot of optimization issues which i could definitely see that so yeah it, it just kind of shot themselves in the foot to be honest but despite all that I did like the gameplay quite a bit. When I was actually able to get into a decent sized match, I'd actually have quite a bit of fun because the base game was actually well made. It's just everything around it that really just screwed it up. So after about a year when the players just started to dwindle and updates started to become less frequent, the developers started to go like really quiet. Like the last big update that we heard from them was that they were either, I think it said partnering or getting bought out by a company called My.Games, I think it was. It's been a while since I've talked about this game so i don't really recall but i do believe they got bought out and honestly that was probably the best move for them because my dog games actually has quite a bit of capital so they get a lot of money and a lot of time to work on the game and not really have to worry about funds i believe they announced that back in may of this year i believe that was like their last biggest announcement and then as of today december 4th they just came on the air announcing that they're back and with an update here's what it says we're nearing the end of the year but world war 3's development isn't slowing down down. Iterative adjustments keep coming and we're hosting internal tests every week to review feature and content changes and spot bugs or other issues with the game. This phase involves professional testers and industry veterans, but also experienced FPS and game developers. While there's still quite some time ahead on the development roadmap, we would also like to invite you to witness firsthand the progress on development and contribute to making our game the best it can possibly be. Would you like to experience the latest version of World War 3? Are you interested in being a part of the tight-knit group of trusted FPS? players can you keep secrets until they're ready to be shared with the world then fill out your form with your details and we may contact you to join the volunteer club yeah so from what i understand world war 3 is trying to relaunch because their botch launch was just really bad like if anything they probably should have delayed the game until it was actually ready you know so in a way this is kind of like their second chance to have a good game with a good player base but uh yeah so i'm probably gonna sign up for this just to check it out to see if it's good or not or if anything's actually changed because it has been a while i mean you could do quite a bit in the months that they didn't actually talk to to us like their last big update was back in may but anyways all right so i'm gonna go fill this out all right good to go i'm gonna continue reading here you will be granted a special role on discord oh I have to join the server, huh? Damn it. Well, anyways, with the direct line of communication to the community team, you will be invited to join test sessions within certain time slots and to submit feedback on specific areas of the game. These sessions will be organized over the following weeks and months, carrying on until the release of the game. Okay, so they are re-releasing it. Cool, good to know. We're interested in seeing how players from different gaming backgrounds will react to the game. Even if you're not a hardcore online player or have a slightly outdated computer, try your luck and we might have a slot for you. Please note that the content shown and shared within the test group is subject to a non-disclosure agreement so nda can't share that i mean i definitely don't mind because i actually have something to lose if uh, i decide to actually show gameplay of the newer build because i don't want to lose my channel you know what i'm saying but yeah hopefully it's something that's going to be good and completely different from what we played previously because if world war 3 really wants to make a comeback then it's got to be a banger just saying but continuing on we really want to continue polishing the game and only reveal it publicly when it's fully ready all communications are exclusively conducted in english by a discord for easier communication between all teams be it written or vocal during the test session this is great for me because i only know how to speak english wish i know how to speak spanish but oh well during test sessions this test group is only open to players over the age of 18 years old which is great for me because i'm 25 sorry kiddos maybe next time but anyways a steam account is necessary to test the game big dumb moment we will contact the limited amount of players this month on discord directly if you don't receive private messages from 
an official staff member, it means your application is still pending. Well, I really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't want to be freaking waiting all the time trying to get into this damn game. But anyways, do you want to add your stone to the edifice? Edifice? The frack? edifice that is world war three apply now so yeah i definitely am going to be trying this and if they actually do allow me to say anything that i will definitely say as much as i can and also criticize the things that i liked about it and the things that i hated about it or just the things that i thought were really cool or could definitely be adjusted i mean because i really like the base gameplay at the moment but it definitely could use an improvement like i noticed that there was a lot of people that were talking about the animations and optimization and all that kind of stuff you know there's also quite a bit of people that were actually looking forward to this game and were like really sad that that it didn't you know get to its full potential so i think that if this game could actually pull it out it could definitely get a lot of points throughout their community and yeah so that's pretty much the video um it's definitely interesting how they're actually coming back but they really didn't say anything for like the past couple of months and you know this is a game that i actually wanted to win you know but they they just done goofed on the launch which really sucks but hopefully they'll make amends here and we'll actually get a good game you know so that's all i really got to say about world war three here's hoping that it's actually going to turn out good and uh, yeah, if you enjoy the fact that I cover games like World War 3, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, just send two bucks a month. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.